mystery of stuff. Well, is our kids' second home and a place where they're nurtured and their values and skills are developed. Yet, matters can go offhand even in such an important institution. Thus, parents should be aware of how their kids are coping up with life in the classroom and take the needed measures to ensure that their children are enjoying their learning process. Today's story is about Thomas Valero, who noticed that his daughter always comes back from school in tears. He knew he needed to find out what was going on, and the discovery he made left him shocked. Starting to go to school marks a new phase in the life of every child, and parents are supposed to provide the needed support and care to help their kids adapt with the new environment. No matter how colorful the classroom is, how friendly the kids are there, and how nice the teachers are, all kids will experience fear and anxiety in their first days as they try to adapt to the new change that's been introduced into their lives. The whole situation can get a lot worse when the child has to deal with a strict or authoritarian teacher. Thomas noticed that his daughter, Aaliyah, used to love her old school and was always excited to go there in the morning. Yet ever since they moved to Hernando County in Florida, all that changed overnight. The little girl's recent behavior started worrying her father as she became more emotional and nervous than usual. Her parents didn't make much of that at first as they thought that any kid would be nervous moving to a new school and having to establish herself in that new environment. Yet things kept getting worse and Thomas knew that there was something off with his daughter that she's not talking about. Throughout the days, the situation started worsening even further as the little girl first started complaining about having to wake up every morning for school. Then she started making up excuses to avoid going there. What really alarmed Thomas was when his daughter simply refused to go to school altogether. While trying to convince tearful Aaliyah to catch her school bus became the new daily routine of the Valeros. All the excitement and joy were replaced by tearful pleas and unjustifiable fear as Aaliyah's idea about kindergarten went upside down. Thomas and his wife tried to talk to the frightened little kid and ask her what was wrong with the new school that made her so terrified to go there. Yet the little girl simply kept a tight lip, refusing to give any reasonable explanation. Thomas tried to figure out what was going on on his own, yet all his attempts were fruitless as everything seemed normal at Pine Grove Elementary. The only thing he was sure of was that his daughter used to be a cheerful and creative kid who loved going to her old kindergarten and always got good grades and positive feedback from her teachers. Yet that wasn't the case anymore as her emotional state as well as her performance at school started to slip. And whatever change happened, it took place after she changed school. Thomas reached a breaking point and getting to the bottom of the matter was a paramount importance to him as any parent would be devastated to see this little kid going through what Aaliyah was experiencing. The environment back home was a stable and happy one, so that couldn't be the reason. The only explanation Thomas could come up with was that Aaliyah was being bullied at school. The concerned father resorted to some drastic measures in order to put an end to the drastic situation that was ruining his little daughter's life. Thomas needed to find out what exactly was happening at the school. Yet his daughter didn't let out much, and he knew if he requested attending one of Aaliyah's classes, whoever was the bully, he or she would act normal in his presence. So the worried dad knew he needed to find a creative alternative. After thinking about it for a while, Thomas bought a small hearing device and planted it in his daughter's hair as he was helping her get ready for school in the morning without telling Aaliyah about it, as he was concerned that it would distract her or the little girl would simply expose his secret plan. Thomas watched his daughter go to school, hoping that the listening device would give him some answers and put an end to his worries. Upon coming back from school, Thomas greeted his daughter at the door. Then he took the recording device and started listening to what happened to his daughter throughout the day. Thomas was stupefied by what he discovered, and the fact that it was going for a while by then made him livid. The recording clarified the reason behind the drastic change in Aaliyah's demeanor as the teacher's shouting, mean remarks, and condescending tone could traumatize anyone who would have to deal with that on a regular basis. Thomas couldn't wrap his mind around the reason that would make a teacher behave in such a way and use such offensive language with kindergarten kids, whom she was paid to take care of and educate. Thomas decided that talking to the teacher would be of no use, as that would just make his daughter her favorite target. So he decided that only authorities at the level of the state school board could help him. Thomas met the board and gave them a full account 
along with evidence of what was happening to his daughter and other kids in the kindergarten at the hands of an abusive teacher who seemed irrationally angry and authoritarian. To his surprise, Thomas was told that there was nothing that could be done to help him besides some disciplinary measures that would be taken regarding the teacher in question. The disappointed father wasn't satisfied by the response he got as the teacher would still teach kids and he just knew he had to do something about it and made it his mission to change the current situation. The principal at Pine Grove Elementary offered to change Aaliyah to another class to be taught by another teacher, yet that wasn't enough for Thomas, as he was also worried about the well-being of the other kids. As a parent, one mustn't only stand for his own child, but for other children as well. As the news started spreading, other parents joined Thomas in his endeavor and protested the situation in which they found their little kids, yet to no avail. Thomas knew that nothing would be accomplished if the matter stayed at the local level, and so he took his story to the internet when he made a petition on Change.org, and as expected, parents all around the country were infuriated by what was happening to Aaliyah and her classmates and rallied around Thomas's cause, and 2,000 people signed a demand to dismiss Mrs. Duncan, the abusive kindergarten teacher. Local media also got involved as they reported the incident and gave Thomas the credit he deserved for standing up for his daughter and other kids in her class, and people all around the nation heard the story. Although Thomas couldn't have Mrs. Duncan fired, at least he made sure that an entire nation knew how kids are treated in the class of a teacher with anger issues, and she no longer could traumatize little kindergarten children and go unnoticed. What kids experience in their early formative years tends to stick with them for the rest of their lives and even shape their personality and characters. For that reason, teachers must be aware of the importance of their role in shaping future generations and that their treatment of the kids and impact they leave on their little souls is more important than the curriculum they teach. On the other hand, Thomas's fatherly instinct and his determination to help his daughter and other kids is what ensures that little children are learning in a nurturing environment, where abusive teachers simply have no place. Did you enjoy today's story? Let us know what you think about it in the comments. If you believe this story was amazing, don't hesitate to share it with your buddies. Hit the subscribe button and activate the notification bell so you'll never miss your daily dose of incredible stories.